Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to be doing our tennis uh, lineup construction. Um, and again, I probably didn't leave enough room. Uh, it's 10.38. We have about 22 minutes. I don't think we're going to get this done in time to do everything I want to do. But we're going to start by doing the stuff that we can do. So we um, uploaded the custom projections, which is uh, very important. And we built, we just built 5,000 lineups. Uh, we're going to play 40, actually could play as many as 43 lineups, right? Because we're going to be playing the break point as well as the line painter and two entries into the qualifier. Um, I, I did the, the normal Sabre Sim settings, uh, 20 max. So I think of the five, I have 5,000 lineups. There's no way that the winners are not in here somewhere. Um, so the first thing I guess I should do is run a sim, and this is this is where the you know this is where the, the battle is drawn. You know, like what what field do we compare our lineups to? And let's just first of all, looks like Kim Win Zhang is going to be the big chalk du jour here. I mean, like given my projections, I mean, like we're looking at eighty percent ownership. So I, I can't really project 80% ownership, though. Um, so I can't use my field as the representative field to compare myself to. I just can't do it. Um, we, we made that mistake with Jordan Thompson yesterday. Um, so we can pick one of these. Um, and And we can see what those are. So let's take a look. Look at field lineups and, and the flagship MME. <sighs> and, and we'll at least see what those are going to look like. Um, and, and what is that? So we're going to create this custom field. That's flagship NME. And let's see what the exposures look like here. Oh. 69% Zhang, right? That's better than 90. Okay. So I guess this is a little bit better. Um, it's still it's still gonna gonna overstate, I think, what her actual ownership is gonna be, but it's um at least it's better than using the pool. Um, the full 5,000 lineup pool. So we are going to use flagship MME as our um, as our contest sim setting in the absence of being able to do anything customized, which again, we are, everybody in the industry is continuing to try to work on. But uh, for now, we are going to settle on, on this. And now with respect to uh, the break point, I guess high stakes, Single entry seems to be the idea, but again, we could check that too. So we click on flagship single entry, or what do we say, or high stakes single entry we decided, right? And then again, we hit create custom fields so that we can see it up here. And then we'll take a look at that pool. And that pool is like 80% Zhang. And, and that, that I guess that's possible in, in the single entry, but even that's going to be a little bit overstated. Um, so what, what, what we can do is this is, and this is the really asking for trouble, but we can run a sim and use that pool as the thing to sim against. And this will drive you to the lunatic asylum if you if you do enough of this. Um, may, maybe that'll be for tomorrow. Simming and then simming against the sim. <laughs> um, for now, we're just going to use flagship MME to make this work. Um, so let's go back to build one. And we are going to uh, use flagship MME as our settings here. We'll use... So that's fine. And then in the break point, we are going to use high stakes as single entry. That's fine. 
And the qualifier, I guess we should use high stakes single entry as well. And we'll do that. And now we'll run these. I'll tell you what, we'll do it twice. We'll, we'll, if, we, if we have time, we'll sim against the sim and just to see what the difference is. All right, so we just ran everything and let's see what we got. Just want to make, make sure it's moving the needle a little bit. It doesn't look like it moved anything, so maybe it just didn't actually run it. So let's let's do it here. You see, it just it, it just shifted at the last second. So we'll do it again. Sometimes it, it just you know it just takes a little while to to shift all the lineups. All right, so let's let's start with the queue, I guess, and give it give it a chance to to think. All right, so the the queue looks pretty easy. Um, uh, I don't need to do more than one min uniques for, for a queue. Um, we're, we're doing two separate, two separate, um, two separate qualifiers. We could, well, you know, let's go min uniques too, just in case it's not really changing much. So we're going to put those in like for now into these two qualifiers. And then let's take a look at the line painter. Um, right now we have a default in Min Uniques too, and and we'll maybe we'll fix that. But again, night now, oh, so check this out. So now not only are we going to get seventy percent Jang, but we're going to go to full ninety percent Hercats. Yikes! Um, I mean, it is what it is. I'm kind of down with this. If that's what it's going to give us. Um, let's um, let's see what happens if we get a little bit more diverse and we and we go like Min Uniques more than two. I want to see how that's going to impact the average projection of everything. So we put in average projection just to give us a little thing to look at here. So 325. Let's go back to Min Unix 1. Um, uh, okay, Min Unix 2 is 325.988. Min Unix 3, who is 325.425? Oh, so it didn't really change all that much. Let's go to Minion Unique's four, and then it goes to three twenty three point five. So that that's that's the that's the jump. So let's keep it at Minion Unique's three, and you get a little less of these guys, which it's it's fine. But you're pretty we're pretty well concentrated with these with these dudes up here or dudes. So it's going to be like a whole bunch of Herkaz and Zhang and, and Nagashima Nagashima also. So let, let's um let's put these in here for now, and then we're gonna maybe have some fun. All right. So line painter, boom, and then break point. Serpent wrist adjusted. We'll just take our best line here. I'll put this in. All right. So what about simming to our sims? All right. So what 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 does that mean? Well, let's instead of let's go back to where we were as, as the line painter. Well, can we do this even, or am I just hallucinating? Yeah. So, I'm really, so we're taking the same five thousand lineups, but. Maybe we'll do like the top thousand or something. Is that is that what I want to do here? I'm, I think I'm again. I'm trying to focus on different different things. I think my brain is a little bit fried here. So what I did was now I have this set where I have seventy percent Hercas and fifty eight percent Zhang. So if I presume that is the field, then what if I ran it against that? But then we're running it against a very small pool if we do that, right? But let's let, let's just see what that would look like. So let's let's just take these forty three lineups and presume that's the field. Let's um, let's download these to CSV. Well, let's see what happens. I make a few more lineups to keep the, I guess that shouldn't make a difference, right? So let, let, let's download these. 
save this to the CSV. And how about we create a new field? I guess this is technically build one, isn't it now? We want to be able to upload a field from somewhere else. So let's go into contests and let's uh, create, I want to create a new custom field. So how do we do that? Well, let's create a new custom field. And then let's actually upload, but not player projections. We want to upload lineups. We want to upload our existing build, and that will be the field that we compare our lineups to. Boy. Um, we could change this, maybe? Right-click. Upload pool. There it is. Okay, beautiful. All right. So, oof, I knew it was somewhere. So, we're going to upload this. So this is the pool now. This is the pool. And these are the, the exposures of that pool. And now what I wanna do is we're gonna call this, um, this is now called flagship MME, right? So now what we do is we go, let, let's rename this, rename, uh, just sim brain fry, I guess. Let's just let's just see what this does. So now what we're going to do is go back to build one, where we have our big five thousand set, right? Now instead, we're going to set the field to compare all this to to sim sim brain fry. We'll save this one, and now we'll run this, and I have no idea what's going to happen. I mean, we're, we're only simming it to a field of 43 lineups. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous, right? Well, let's just see. Let's let's just, let's just see what, what what we do here. All right. So let let's let's um go away from it. Then we'll get back to it. And let's just see what we do. Line painter risk adjusted ROI. And now, what do we get? Okay. So now, what we would get if we did this is 97% Nishihita. Why would that be? We're still getting a bunch of this Zhang, but this is this is quite an interesting uh, interesting experiment. I, I know I'm doing something wrong. But what I'm doing wrong is I'm only using 43, 43 lineups. I have to expand that. Um a lot, but let's just say I wanted to go with this and we'll go min uniques and do that same thing as before. So the average projection 328, min uniques go down 327.72, which is fine. And then 325, so that's kind of a decent drop. So let's, I would go back to min uniques too. This is kind of crazy, huh? So we were simming as our actual sim, we'd be getting 93% Nishioka. I mean, I kind of want to just put these in just to kind of see. I wonder, I wonder if the uh the tournament is sold out. This would be quite this would be quite the Experiment if we can get away with this. But 1052, we do have time. So we'd be 90% of a 7.5% Nishihika at, or, or Nishioka at 5,700. If we did it this way. That would, that would be quite the, quite the gamble. Let, let's, let's see how many, we have six minutes left, right? See how many, how many, and if, if I could put 20 more entries in, I'm going to do it.
let's 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 see let's see if there's any more time um for this if there are 20 more lineups um line painter yeah there is um all right let's do it uh hold on this is what we're gonna do um okay so let, let's we got five six minutes i got plenty of time just just 20 we'll just do 20. so we'll do 20 more i'll even for those of you who invested me with me on state kings these will be like a bonus I'll, I'll i'll include these in the um in the uh in, in the pool as a matter of fact i mean let's if we're going to do this right no we're not we're, we're well, let's do let's do 40. we really don't play man i can't play 82 lineups in this thing no way but i will play 20 20 more so let's let's go back to here these are kind of like the off the wall sim against this, the sim stuff. Okay, we'll play 20. We'll download these, pick this up. Copy over here. And then we'll Where's, where's the duped ones down here? Okay, so boom. Oh, no, hold on. Boom. Save. And then upload here. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm definitely going to um, check out let's make sure any dupes nope no dupes so that's good so we got a lot going on this on, on the nishioka we'll just we'll just see how it turns out and we'll see about the uniqueness too once we get uh once we get there uh, of note by the way is that i don't have a my none of my qualifier or breakpoint lineups are in any of my line painters and i actually like that um Technically, the lineups you're supposed to put in the qualifiers and the breakpoints are not what you're supposed to put in the line painters. So I really hope that, well, what am I rooting for? So if I'm playing 60 lineups in this thing now, I want to, uh, I'd love to have all uniques. But I think that might be asking a little bit too much. Okay, so we have three minutes and 30 seconds. Do I have time to try to do that DFS hero thing again? I mean, definitely not, but we'll, we'll do it anyway. This is again, this is the, this is the process that, that I lost, uh, I lost uh, time with last time and same thing. I ran out of time to do it this time as well. But let's just try, you know, see if we can get faster um, like anything else. So projection hub, upload, click, tennis. These are my projections, boom. Player name, player name, points go to user projection. Ownership goes to user own. Import, import, boom. Uh, we got to save this. I don't know what this is. Let's just make sure that everything is mapped. And we have to give it a, give it a new name again as, for some reason. Hero projection zero. This one to 100. Good, good, good. And then we can build from hero projection, no user projection, and we'll build uh, what 150. No, we're gonna we want to build 500, right? Because we want to compare to a whole bunch of lineups. Let's build actually. Again, why do I have to build so many? Let's just see what happens. So let's um, we'll build sixty lineups. So it built sixty so fast, but I want it to sim. But what is it simming against? So what we would do is we would rank these. 
we don't want hero mode, we have custom settings, contest sims, entry limit. Looks like there's, you know, let's say there's 83 people, 83 entries you can put in here, 10,000 weighted ROI. Um, we'll keep all this the same. We want to rank these this way. So it's Simium, but I think it's, again, I think I'm missing a step here. I, I got to go back to the DFS hero people if I want to try to use this thing. I'm definitely missing a step. Let's just see what happens. And it's going to lock in a minute. And so then we'll be able to hope, hopefully, what's his name? Uh, God, fix the sports projection site. Because that was a little annoying. Uh, it did not grab the contest properly yesterday. I did reach out to him to see if he might have fixed it, but we'll see. And then worst case, maybe we get SaberSim to update their information first. So again, it's only 60 lineups. So how is this really helping me? Um, I mean, it's rating them by risk adjusted ROI, but it's, it's, it's rating them against what? You know, so like, for example, export values here. I mean, I'm only going to see 60 lineups, right? So I'm definitely missing some. Um, I am going to just actually, I'm going to, I'm going to direct the DFS hero people to the last part of this video. And I want to see um, again, what I'm, what I'm missing here. But until then uh, let's, uh, all right, so we did lock. I guess the first thing we could do, we could compare our ownership projections. And we're getting a little bit better, I will say, um, at our ownership projections. We're not good yet, but we're getting better. So let's just take a look and see how to do that again. We have our lineup ownership uh, uh, tool here, golf, tennis. Let's see. Did this upload yet? It's within like two seconds. Right, within 60 seconds, this will probably upload the uh, the contest data. Then we'll be able to download. So, okay, here we go. So uh, export all this info. And again, I call it something else just because I have my, my own code that I'm, I'm working with here. Tennis, I call it ownership tracking. And let's, 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 um, let's again, let's analyze how we did ownership projection wise versus actual ownership. Great. Um, okay, let's go. Boom. Let's see how we did. The answer is we were really awful. So what, what did we miss? Oh, uh, well, I mean, I will say that we were kind of on the right path, right? Because because we did know that Zhang was going to just, just get jammed here. So I don't know why we were, had the delusion of a 23% projected ownership. What this is showing, by the way, is that people are using the sense, you know, and, and, and getting to this type of stuff. Um, so the proje ownership projections have to adjust for that. So, I mean, as a matter of fact, with the exception of these two, I mean, everything was, I guess, kind of close. Uh, Draper was a little bit higher than maybe I thought. But so overall, I would say on the okay side of poor as far as my ownership projections. Uh, let, let's see if, uh, again, we're going to, it's going to be a mystery, but let's see if the sports projection site is, is going to be able to grab the, the contest. Let's see. Ready? Here it is. Here's the sweat. Main. Oh, look at that. We got him. Excellent. All right. So let's put this in. Boom. Let's see what we got. All right. So it's 60. Again, here's the big sweat. After six, for 60 lineups we're playing, how many uniques do we need? Or how many? I mean, I'd like to have 50. That would be nice, but I didn't, you know, I didn't do any geo mean filtering, so I'm not really convinced that this is possible. Let's see how we did. Uh, use unique percentage. Let's see how we did. Uh, ooh, how do you like that? 55 uniques out of 
60. You know what that means? That's only five Duke push-ups. So we're gonna do those. Okay. Ooh, thank God, because I can't do that. Many. And again, I, I can't do the camera so All right. So that's my exercise for the day, I guess. And we did just as well as some of these some of these superstars here. So so really really good. Um, you want to look at the user entry investigation? Let's check that out. Um, no, not that one. Um, first of all, let's look at our. So. Roto-Grinders top 50, they really jammed Zhang versus the field. It's not 100%. What does that mean? It's, Zhang was not 100% on. So I don't know what this is all about. Field. I don't know why they're... Oh, 40. It's up to 40. So this is your overall ownership projection. And then what we could do is we could check ours. We were way over on Shang. We were like, we did get 90% after all that. Yikes. Well, okay. And I, I would imagine that I'm pretty over on the, Nish, the, the, the Nishioka. Yep. These are the lines that came from that from that brain fry one. We'll see what happens. Let's look at our user investigation. Um, so let's take a look at this for a second. So let's take a look at our most exposed ones are actually. The, the the highest duped ones were actually Nishioka lineup. That's that's interesting. Uh, and this one that was too duped is a Nishioka lineup. And then obviously Shang. So we, we have we have all the Shang. I don't I don't know. Let's see when does that start? By the way, here's here's another interesting point. Is that let's take a look at Zhang. Let's see when her her match starts. Her match, while well, it hadn't started yet, she's not, oh, my God, not till 7 p.m. So, you know what's good about that is that we're going to know, I mean, like, what where we stand, you know, before the Zhang match starts. So, what you can do, and, again, we haven't really perfected the best way to do this, but is use the, is use the sports betting markets to hedge if, in, if in fact – we're, we're live for something. So let's, let's go down. What's, what's her odds here? Um, be 7 PM. So Chang is a minus 475 favorite. So if in fact we need her and we need her big, we could do all kinds of stuff. And it's not just, you know, let's bet fresh on the other side or fresh on the other side. It depends on what we need. Like if we're going to need like a, a full two straight set smash, that that's not even going to be good enough to hedge that way. So what you maybe could even do is play Fretch in the first set or something like that. Um, because unless Yang wins in straight sets, it's not going to matter. Or you could do this other stuff like uh, not this, but um, like over under in total games. Like you play like the over, like twenty point five or whatever, whatever it is. You can even play play the alt line. Like depending on what you actually need, you could use the sports betting market to to a properly hedge if that's what you want to do. Um, and Ella, listen, I'm trying to do everything with these videos. So th there will be one of those videos one of these days also. Um, just, I, you know, we have to be in the right spot for that. All right. Uh, I, I enjoyed this one actually quite a bit. Hope you guys did too. And uh, good luck, everybody.